hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Here we are again with another speed build. Let me tell you first that it's been a while since I have this video edited and ready to go um, for YouTube. But the only thing that was missing was the voiceover. Main reason being because I have been sick um uh, for the past well it was let's say one week yes one week so what happened was i had the builds completely edited and ready to record a voiceover but when the day like i edited the video and it was ready on Friday night to record a voiceover, so on Saturday morning I was supposed to woke up and record a voiceover, but what happened is that um, because that night, Friday night, was very cold and I went outside to be with a few friends, um, when I woke up on Saturday I had no voice so i was unable to record the voiceover even if i want to and besides that when finally i got my voice back after two days i was very sick sick to the point that one week later i had to go to the hospital because um i was not getting better and well, I'm not going to explain everything that was happening, but basically it was kind of... It was not a flu, but it was an infection um, in my throat, because I have um, allergies and such. I can't explain it in, in English, because I don't know the correct terms in English, only in Portuguese. Uh, if you can understand what rhinite allergica is, or uh, sinusitis then you would probably understand what I'm talking about. But anyways, and moving on, I am back, I am hopefully going to be able to talk for uh, around 9 minutes and talk a little bit about this build. So this house is another one for Strangerville, for that save file that I'm trying to complete, I'm trying to rebuild to Strangerville world completely with my builds only and kind of not a background story but at least a background concept so on the shady acres we have all the um, carpenter gothic houses that i have been building and this one is the least expensive i can say that i think it's the cheapest one so far um i'm working on another one on a smaller lot already but that one i believe is going to be more expensive because i'm building that um with the not so very challenge in mind generation one and i want to have a few uh, sorry about the noise, my neighbors are making noise, I don't know what is happening, but I'm not going to stop the voiceover because of that unless it turns uh, impossible to move on. Anyways, moving on. So I was saying that I'm going to use probably a few expensive items that are going to help us with the logic skill and everything, so that house might become uh, more expensive that th than this one. But talking about this one because this is what is important so uh, the description of this house uh, i said on the light uh, gallery it is um cheaper than the other victorians uh, all over the shady acres but still one of the best places to live in a great view a great floor plan a great family home to start a wealthy life built as replacement for the 30 by 20 quick corner cove lot and that's exactly where we are right now um in stranger view furnish live on twitch of course and speed build is going to be available on youtube and that's what i'm doing right now recording the voiceover for this speed build so this house as i was saying um as i was reading in the description is a family home um we have two bedrooms I think, let me check, let me check, yes, we have two bedrooms, so we have a main bedroom, 
um, with a double bed and then we have something that I normally don't do which is another bedroom with a toddler bed <coughs> So basically uh, this house is prepared if you have like one sim or a couple uh, like two sims that want to start a new family here um, and then we already have the bedroom ready for a toddler. Um, the bedroom has some kind of genderless colors not that I believe that color has gender but anyway it's just saying like that because there's a lot of people in the world and a lot of different uh, minds and ways of thinking. Moving on. Um, then we are talking about the first floor and besides that we have the bathroom and a very small um, office section where we have a um, little desk with a laptop facing the window that faces uh, the front of the house on that tower and I do love that little office corner is so cozy beautiful and at the same time inspiring so even if you are working really hard or if your sim works from home I believe it's going to be a good place to be working on the laptop because you literally have the laptop and the window behind where you can see everything is that gorgeous window from Stranger View uh, pack that is amazing like all the other windows but anyways moving on so talking about the ground floor which is the main uh, and the most important floor when we enter the house we have a small entry section and we enter directly to the living room the living room um, has also a piano so maybe one of the members of the house loves music and is actually a piano player or maybe he's just going to he or she they are just going to sell the piano and buy something else to replace the piano i don't know we also have the kitchen and there's no dining room here because we have a dining table on the kitchen the kitchen is quite big and has that bay window that just gives us a lot of light and also we can enjoy the landscaping around the shady acres which is beautiful i do love well let me say this i don't know i don't remember if i have said this on the channel already but um i had no idea how much i was going to love this expansion um not expansion this game pack um not only for building not only for the items that came with it but also from for the world i had no idea how much i was going to love this and how much how much inspired i would be uh with this game pack but the truth is that i have been building a lot for this but anyways i don't have time to talk uh, much about this build so let's just say goodbye and see you next time enjoy the fly through bye guys